Former Bama center Ryan Kelly has held his own as well this season. Tonight, the first of our sit downs as Kelly takes center stage. So you're 11 games into the season. If you're still in college, there'd be maybe one or two left. But now that you're in the NFL, you've got five games left, hopefully a sixth, if not more. So how are you holding up in all this? I'm doing well. You haven't hit that rookie wall yet? You know, some people talk about it, and I think it's it's it kind of depends on different situations. I think some guys definitely hit that wall. But I think, uh, I mean, certainly coming from the program that I came from has helped me a ton. I was going to ask you, when you go to a place like Alabama, do you feel like that gives you an edge, if you will, in the NFL? I learned a ton, you know, from, from Coach Saban, from that program. But I think just the everyday, like, grind and how to prepare for a week, I think that, that certainly helped me come from, you know, where I was at before. So who's tougher, Nick Saban or Chuck Pagano? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're both very different. They you know, are different. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you're dealing with professionals at this level, which is, is you know, it, it's really cool. It's kind of the, it's the cool part of the NFL is that you're dealing with guys who, you know, who, or who aren't 18, who aren't 17, come out of high school, and they don't, they don't really have those knuckle cases that, you know, you always hear about sometimes. But um, it, it's, it's been cool to be a part of both. The Indianapolis Colts select Ryan Kelly. I kind of equated to, you know, you know, the relationship that, you know, Peyton Saturday, you know, had. When you were drafted, front office and, and Chuck Pagano himself said uh, you reminded him a little bit of Jeff Saturday, and hopefully you would develop the relationship that Jeff had with Peyton, with you and Andrew Luck. That's a lot, isn't it? It is <laughs> right uh, out of the gate. Yeah, I, I actually met um, Jeff in January back at the Remington um, Trophy Ceremony in Nebraska. So it was kind of weird. I mean, obviously, I had no idea where I was going to be at that point and met him and talked to him backstage for a little bit and great guy. Um, and, you know, you look at that relationship, and, and I learned that relationship early on at, at Bama because I had three different quarterbacks, and they're all, all very different, you know. How has the relationship grown this season, you think? Yeah, I mean, from where I was day one when I came in, I think it was more May 6th or something like yeah. that, you know, to where we are December, or Night. December 1st. Night you know. day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Last thing, I know you're an avid reader. How is this final chapter of 2016 going to play out? Well, I know how we want to play out. Yeah. I mean, this team has grown and so much, and, I, and, I, and I'm really lucky because I know every day I get to walk in that locker room, I'm surrounded by great guys. Like I said before, you know, you take it one day at a time, and that's all you can do in this league, and um, come, back, come back the next day with a great attitude. Colts offensive line ranks 30th when it comes to protecting luck. Got to get that to change if they have any shot at winning the division. Still